has a dark and brooding soul With a dire plan and a hate for man Domination is my goal Yes, he's the is a fairy tale they say This is a tutorial to get Diablo 2 version 1.14d running on a Macintosh when the when Blizzard released one of the more recent versions of Diablo 2 uh, unfortunately they introduced a problem which causes permissions errors uh, it is possible to work around it fairly easily you could do it in a couple of different ways uh, one way is by running as a uh, as the root user I don't recommend that it's very insecure um, on the other hand there's a very easy way to do it by launching the game through terminal and that's what I'm going to demonstrate here now first I'm going to assume that you have the game installed and fully updated already um, I currently have two finder windows open um, this one shows uh, in my applications folder I have a games subfolder here and in there you'll find a Diablo 2 folder and a Diablo 2 extras folder. I have my Diablo 2 extras folder open down here. I use it for uh, mainly for GoMule, which is how I uh, transfer uh, items between characters in the single player mode. But uh, we're not going to be going into that in this video. Uh, the first thing you have to do is get to the Diablo 2 application. Now that's of course inside my Diablo 2 folder. But surprisingly enough, this is not the Diablo 2 uh, application. This is a Diablo 2 application package. And what that means is that it's actually a special kind of folder. Now, if Diablo 2 were not experiencing the permissions issues that it's experiencing, you could just double click on this or click on the application icon in your dock and the game would simply launch. Unfortunately, that's not the case. We do have this permissions issue. We can work around it by using a super user do, the sudo command in the terminal, and that's going to completely ignore all permissions when the game is launched without having to go into the root user, which always ignores all permissions, but also exposes you to a number of different vulnerabilities. So let's get started with that. First, again, the Diablo 2 icon you see here is not actually the application. It's an application package. We're going to right click on that. And when we do that, we get an option to show package contents. That's essentially opening this folder. And this is what you see when you show package contents. You get something called the contents folder. We're going to click on that. And from there, we're going to click on Mac OS. And this is the actual application here. And that's what we're going to need when we launch the game through Terminal. The next thing we have to do is bring up the Terminal. And there's a lot of different ways to bring up the Terminal. You can use a Spotlight Search, and that's certainly the easiest way. But I'm going to show you where the Terminal application is on your Mac, in case you've never used it before. If you go to your Applications folder, and you then go to your utilities folder you'll find it there so I'm going to double click on terminal and you see this brings up a window which simply allows text input and this is going to be very simple now we're going to type in the command sudo that stands for super user do or sudo and now what we need to do is to type in the exact path to the Diablo 2 application. Now we could type it in manually, but that would be completely insane, and it might be different on your machine than it is on my machine. So instead, all you have to do is go back to the window, the Finder window, where we located the actual Diablo 2 application, and drag that into the terminal window. And as you can see, that automatically adds the exact path to the Diablo 2 application. Now I'm also going to add the dash w argument which simply means to open directly in a window. Now we could allow it to open in full screen and then move to a window but I'm going to open it up in a window to start 
for a variety of reasons, mainly having to do with my screen resolution, which is mainly having to do with the fact that I'm using a very cheap QuickTime, uh, QuickTime player uh, screen capture method. So let's just uh, hit return now. And now we're going to be asked for our password. Now this password is the same password that you use to log into your account on your Mac. If you have your Mac set up for automatic login, you maybe no, don't use your password to log in, but you have been using your password to do things like uh, install software or um, to provide permission to uh, uh, some other action that the system has to take. So just enter that password. You're not going to see any typing going on when I do that. And now I'm going to hit return, and that will launch the game. Because we put in the dash W argument and it automatically launches it with it. Now I don't actually do Command M, that's a Diablo 2 for Mac. going to click anywhere in here and go to full screen. And as you can see, the game now works perfectly fine. I'm running 1.14D, which is the latest release. I could go into Battle.net or other things if I want. I'm just going to pull up <clears throat> one of my uh, single player characters. This is actually a single player character that I did not create myself. I downloaded it from the internet and I use it exclusively for testing things so that if anything were to happen to this character uh, through the testing, I just don't care. <laughs> so let's just uh, load him up, prove that the game is actually working. His golem came up. Let's go. Well, uh, talk to Good afternoon. Him. So the relic is lost. I'm not gonna listen to all this, though. Do not dwell on fail. And we'll just run out into the uh, run out into the wild. And kill a few things. Diablo 2, running fine. So I'm going to save and exit here. I'm going to go back to windowed mode. And now I'm going to exit the game. Now if we go back to our finder and terminal windows, you'll see that the terminal window is still running. And the terminal window needs to stay open while you're running the game. Uh, the terminal window is what's actually running the game for you in this case. The process of the game has to run through the terminal. In any case, it's, you can close the terminal window now, quit out of the terminal, do whatever you like. Um, as you can see, it's very simple. It gets around the, uh, the problems that the game has otherwise. I'm just going to close the terminal for a moment and show you what happens if you try to run the game uh, without using the terminal. You're going to have a permissions error. Watch. As you can see, the uh, Diablo 2 icon is still dancing in the dock, we got the beach ball, and now you see that uh, uh, an application error occurred. And what happened is that uh, when you launch that way, the game is also attempting to launch a, an application called Blizzard Reporter or something like that. And when it does that, uh, it uh, checks to see if it has permission to launch, and it fails. It does not have permission to launch because for some reason when Blizzard installs it, they, get, they don't give permission to the uh, actual to the user account to launch that application and even going in and changing that application specific permissions eventually while it will solve the problem temporarily it eventually uh, gets reset by uh, by the blizzard reporter application itself so I've reported this to blizzard multiple times they have not done anything about it in uh, what's the this is 2000 so it's been almost 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 four years so uh, I don't think this is going to get repaired. So again, easy workaround. Just use the terminal to launch to launch your application. All you have to do is remember that the uh, is remember that the application icon that you see for Diablo 2 in your Diablo 2 folder 
is actually an application package, which is a special kind of folder, and you have to open the application package. That'll take forever, so we'll ignore it. And you have to open the application package to get at the actual Diablo 2 application, which you then drag into a terminal window after you, while using the sudo command. Then you enter your password, the game launches, you play as normal. I hope this was helpful. But I waved goodbye saying, don't you cry, I'll be back again someday. <laughs>